Here's a short tutorial on how to download from the Mead Public Library website for, and uh, get things operating. First you go to 24-7 Library Downloads. Next you go to Wisconsin Public Library Consortium. Okay, next thing you have to do is sign in. At least I go sign in, select library, and we're at the Eastern Shores Library System. Then you need your library card number and your PIN. You enter that, and of course you sign in. Now my thing says checked out. I click on there. I'm just did some books to test things out and see how they go. Uh, now before we do this, you've got to do some downloads. You've got to download OverDrive, for instance. I backed up a few screens uh, to the Digital Download Center. And then I go down here. It, it gives me the option to do some downloading. You've got to download Adobe Digital Editions to read any of the eBooks. I wasn't aware of that before, but you've got to download that first. So you download Adobe Digital Editions. Download now. Okay. Install. And install. Yes. Next. Install. And that's done. I agree. Continue. You've got to enter your Adobe ID. If not, you've got to get one. So I'm going to pause this for a minute. Then you hit activate. And of course, I'm activated because I had one. So now I'm activated. And I've, I'm online. So I'm all set there. So I'm closing this screen down. Something else you've got to do is uh, to the overdrive. You got to download overdrive. So I'm going back. I'll, let me pause it. Get back on my screen where I belong. Okay. I just thought I, I went brain dead, but here's what you you scroll back. You just go back a little bit. Go back to the bottom here again. Overdrive Media Console. Click on that, and you'll download that one next. I've got a Windows PC, and uh, I'm just going to download it now. It's not for any of these. It's just strictly for my Windows PC. Download. Save. Goes fairly rapidly. Okay, downloads finished loading. Now I'm going to double click on that and install that one. Run. Next. I agree. Next. Next next. This takes a little bit. I'm going to pause this while I'm waiting. It's moving right along now. It took about a minute for some reason to get that far. I've got a fast computer. I've got a dual core computer, but it still took a while. Installation is complete. Close. Close this up. Go to my desktop one. I'll go to my busy desktop, double click Overdrive Media Console, and uh, Tools, Security Upgrades. It's been giving me a lot of people problems. Let's see if this one works. To re upgrade the security, make sure you're connected. Click OK. For some reason, these upgrades, I'm not sure if they really work. You know, I've done this. And it just, I don't know, it doesn't seem to work, but a, a problem we had was with a previous upgrade that didn't work either. Let's just see if we can download a book. First of all, see if it shows upgrade. Yeah, see, it still says the same thing, so I'm not sure if the upgrade worked or not. But let's go on to, uh, I'm going to hit pause first because I'm not sure what this is all about. Okay, I should be back online now. Now we're going to the books. Uh, let's let's just go and check out. We go library, downloads, 
uh, public consortium. Okay, we'll go to my account. Checked out. And let's just see if I can download one of these books from my computer. A 10 minute stress manager. I had a lot of the, a lot of this getting trying to get this going. This is an audio book. Open with Media Drive Council default. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it's downloading. And there it is. Uh, my collections. I'll view all my media. I guess let's just double click on that and play. It's supposed to play. Let me pause this while I try and figure out what's going wrong. Audiobook Part 1. Okay, something's still loading up. Now, there you go. Now it started. Scroll ahead. And that's the thing. I want to point out one more tidbit. Let me stop this now. Hold on. I'm going to close this down for now. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to look for one more thing. I'm going to pause while I'm looking. Okay. This is what I wanted. Here's one more program to get downloaded audiobooks. Uh, I couldn't get the overdrive working. So I install the one-click digital. I'm going to do that right now also. Just double-click on that. One-click digital registration page. Okay. Log in. I've got an account there already. So I'm going to pause while I log in. Okay, now this gives you a new selection of books, but I've, I've got download one click digital. That's the thing I don't have it downloaded yet. I'm trying to find where I download one click digital. Let me back up one. I was logged in. I want to prove a point when I download this one click digital. I want to just show you something if I can. No, pause. Well, I guess the point I'm making when I had trouble logging into OverDrive before because of the past, I needed to upgrade my media player. It was impossible to do. It was a 2.5.01, I guess, the version. There's a lot of people searching for it on Yahoo or Google. None of the answers were any good. So I decided to try an alternative. The girl at the library told me to download one-click digital media, so I downloaded that. And when it was downloading, it actually upgraded or updated. One, it said you need to upgrade the Windows Media Player, I believe. And I, I clicked OK, and it upgraded the player. And I thought after that, I checked the OverDrive one more time, and it also took care of my OverDrive problem. So now I've got the one-click digital and OverDrive both. That's all I want to tell you. I hope this helps you get your books and videos, audio, and all your books read, and you can listen to things online. If you have a computer, you don't need an e-book reader or anything else. You can just do it online with your PC or Mac. Hope this helps. Okay, I'm adding this to my my little short tutorial because I just found I was check clicking in a book, just a random book, to try and check it out. And then it says download digital media so it gives me the option to download this right away so it's downloading I save the file and we'll just set this up right away and just see how that works and see if this asks or tells me I need the upgrade or not that's done I double click on this run install I'll pause while it's installing. Okay, now it's continuing to install the Media Center. Accept, next, net install. Okay, we'll pause again while it's going through this. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to just go on to here and download one of these books, 100 Power Thoughts. Download this on my PC. Okay, it's an audio book. 
Okay, now that's going to download onto my uh, reader here in a little while. In the meantime, this is still installing. Screw that to my other screen. Well, again, we'll pause while waiting for things to finish up here. We have two things going on at once. You know, my mistake, I was trying to get an audio book and I need to get an ebook. Let me let me pick on ebook just at random. We'll go back to the uh, me library downloads. Um, download. Oh, we gotta go to consortium, and then we scroll down. If I'm not mistaken, after my computer is unlocked, it's frozen temporarily. Okay, current available audiobooks, ebooks. Okay, ebooks. Double click on the ebooks, give it time to reload, and let's just click on uh, the blessed ones. Okay, we'll click on the blessed. That should be oh that's an audiobook. I don't want that. I want an ebook. Just back in ebooks. We'll just do a vampire one, even though I got no use for vampire stories. They've they're overdone. Uh, let's see, uh, where do I go now? Here, Adobe can ebook. Ebook compile. Okay, I'll click on there. I don't know what happened there. Let's go back to this first. That's still that's still going. That one-click media manager is taking a long time. Okay. I don't know what I did there. Let me just pause until I figure myself out. I'm gonna close that window down. Pause. I got there's a place a hole that's why it's not available so let me put let me back up one I thought this is uh, the one uh, take a look uh, currently available oh I know just back I uh, just back in currently available ebooks there I go I switched to the wrong one before give it a few seconds to get the proper screen You want just may we recommend? Okay, here we go. Nineteenth wife. Uh, see, place and hold these women. They got nothing but time on their hands. So they read all this crap. Uh, all these stupid uh, romance novels. They're just it's it's I don't know. Pretty sick. I guess that's pornography for women. But I'm trying to find currently available ebooks. Let it reload one more time. Pause it in the meantime. Okay, here we go. The Amazing Life of Cats. Use on ebook. Oh, I, I, I did the wrong thing again. Uh, I want to add this to my cart. Add to my cart and proceed to checkout. There we go. Confirm checkout. You can adjust the days you want this for also. It gives you how many days you want. But I got download. I'm going to download to Adobe Digital Editions. There we go. It should be here momentarily. There we go. Okay, and here's the book, Seven Days, and then you can read it. Just, uh, you just go pay that. Now, what I want to show you when you're all done, when you're all finished reading it, you can return the book. Okay, you... You click on there, there's an arrow, return borrowed item. You go click, 
and it's it's returned because you you can only check out ten items at a time, but by returning it now it opens you for more checkouts. Just wanted to show you that. There it looks like my media manager is finally working. I'm now in the process of logging in. Okay, and it's facing the future. Let's play title and see if that works. It should be pl oh here I got hit at the top. Play title. Unable to connect to servers to retrieve information. What the heck is that all about? Well anyway, that's basically it in a nutshell. I've got play around. We are online, so it should be working. So I'm just not sure why it should be playing. And I imagine once my computer stops doing 20 different things, it may start. So I hope this helps you some. Enjoy.